instructions have been given. It is time to go to Jima in the blue and red. Jenny Valentine in the black. Tony Gill certainly will be hungry for that first win. Meanwhile, Valentine a little bit under the weather, but re-energized. Oh, shot to the head. Early on there, what's going on? Can't do that. I mean, immediately after, it looks like Valentine's okay, but yeah, the illegal shot right off the bat. Another Again, strike. What is going on here? She needs to get a stern warning. All right, looks like he gave her a warning. Yeah, what's going on? I understand Tajima's a bit of a newcomer, but the rules are pretty clear. You see, Valentine's definitely, uh, definitely affected by those shots. Oh, oh well. <laughs> You cheat, I cheat. <laughs> wow, and she's not stopping either. She's going for it. Cranking on the leg here. A little bit of a banana split action there. Working on the legs. Tomiko showing some toughness, trying to fight out of it, but there's definitely some pressure right now. Wow. Just a little bit of karma there. Oh, slips around to the back. I guess, like I said, a little karma. I mean, you cheat, I cheat. Now she's on the back. The hooks are in. Bad spot here for Tajima. Valentine has both the hooks in. Now switching over, maybe trying to set up a little arm triangle choke. There switches all the way to mount, and she's punching away from the top. Big right hands. Tajima able to clear, and they move back to the feet. A lot of action here early. They scramble down, and now it's Tajima on top. Jamie, you can see, has lost a little bit of spring in her step. She is still grinding, moving forward, oh, and just nice. powers through for a takedown. And now she's punching away from the top. Big shots to the body. Valentine, look at sneaking the leg up there. Maybe an omoplata on this left arm. She's grabbing the ankle as well. That's got to put a lot of pressure on her. And a lot of extra torque in there. That left shoulder right now is being Pushed and stretched and tense. Tajima seems to be okay right now. Very flexible, very athletic, no question about it. But you can see with the added grip of that. Now Valentine gonna try to sit up, finish this omoplata. Yeah, a little showboating for the crowd. That never hurt anyone. No doubt about it. Those knees to the body can be tough. You can see. Tajima slips around to the back though. This could be a critical mistake. Oh my goodness. Tajima is on the back. Valentine gave up that neck. She's keeping the chin tucked, trying to peel it away. But Tajima is on. This is a bad spot. A lot of time here. That choke is in place. Valentine supporting the entire body weight yeah, as well. That's it. That's a lot of extra weight. If it wasn't for the ring holding up her, <laughs> holding her up right there, I think we'd be in a lot worst position, but yeah, that is excruciatingly tired to hold that strength. Oh, oh nice. what an escape. Oh, and you can see, yeah, Valentine asking for a second. I don't think you get to call timeout. <laughs> I think Valentine is absolutely exhausted. She impressed us with her early work, but now I think that illness is finally taking its toll. I think you're right. It's got to be tough. It's a commend her for being able to fight through two rounds, you know, at that particular pace. But yeah, I think we're starting to see the, the tiredness from the sickness coming in there. And if there was a time for Tajima to really push it, this would be the time to get that strength, make the push. It's got to be now. Valentine steps over to mount. She's got wrist control, thinking about a potential submission on those arms. Steps over with the left, putting pressure on that neck. She will have the arm bar there. She can extend the limb, the belly down arm bar. Maybe bail out on that with time winding down. Probably just wants to ride this out, keep control, keep herself out of trouble. Yeah, getting a nice little face crank there. A little pressure on the jaw of Tajima. Final 10 seconds of this third and final round. Battling through, can anybody pull off something spectacular? They're both looking to control the neck. Bell sounds, that is the end of this. And once again, Valentine not exactly wanting to give up Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner by unanimous decision, representing the black team, Jenny Bloody Valentine. It comes off all sweet and fair and goody two-shoe kind of sort of, but in my mind, she has another side to her that she uh, she hides. 
we started our fight. I thought I'd just, I don't know, just kind of, you know, have a little fun with Jenny, and I kind of like, kind of got her in the eye there. She not only poked me in the eye once, she poked me in the eye twice. And then I did it again, and I got away with it. Um, she wasn't very happy with me. You know what, if you're gonna play dirty or start dirty with me, you're gonna get what's coming. She kicked me in the crotch, which I thought that was like, you know, so uncalled for. I, I don't know why she had to do something like that. We don't tolerate that. That's, that's not a normal move you do. That's some childish move. That's a lot different than hair pulling and banking. That clearly is an intentional to try and hurt the other. That's just childish and it's not gonna be tolerated. I'm gonna have to give you a one event suspension for what you did. I didn't deserve that. I mean, like I said, she poked me in the eyes twice. It happens. It's not really sportsman-like, but I don't think she should be suspended. I think that she needed to be, like, disqualified. I was hoping it would be over right then and there. She was doing these poses and um, being cocky, which really made it even worse for me that she was holding me down and doing these weird cocky moves on me. I had to make a statement to her, basically. I don't think I even had a chance with her on that one. I think uh, she just dominated me, and the um, more I tried to fight back, the more she just kept playing with me. No matter what she did, I was always able to counter it, and I kind of showed my dominance throughout that match. In my mind, I think she she definitely won the second round. I mean, that there no no contest. I really felt like I got my butt kicked. With the third round with Tomato, I was really I had to give it all that I had, even beyond more than all that I had, because I felt like I was an empty tank of gas. I did manage to. Um, get on her back and um, get her into a rear naked choke. I, I thought I could tame the beast and get her to collapse if I could just squeeze hard enough. She would not, the girl would not fall. I was hoping to get the victory and just having her tap out. So I'm kind of disappointed that it went to the decision. I just, you know, I wish it was a, a tap out. I never want to lose. Like, it doesn't matter if I'm a fighter or a coach. Even though I felt like I was the more dominant one, I don't know how the judges are. I've seen some of the judges' decisions in the past. So it could be anything. Honestly, I think in the the judge's decision for that match, I kind of thought that she probably won that one just because it didn't seem like anything I did to her was even affecting her. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner. It's really hard to stay there as a coach with your fighter waiting for the judge's decision. Like, that's excruciating, literally. So now I know what Leon feels every time and more with me, it's like, pretty much eating his heart, <laughs> like half. By unanimous decision. It's a very, very just, you know, you're like, just say it already and let's be done with it, you know? Representing the black team, Jenny I, I, I remember I fell down to my knees because it just was like, not only mental satisfaction for me, but I was also so exhausted because it went that distance and I was under the weather. And I also remember pulling something. I did something during that match with Tomika where I did hurt myself. After doing two matches and losing two matches, I felt like um, maybe I need to have a, uh, a fighter that's more equal to me instead of these veteran fighters that um, have had a lot more experience. So in a way I thought it was kind of unfair for me to be thrown in with these experienced fighters and um, not have a chance. It is frustrating because I want to win and um, to lose two in a row like that, I feel like, um, I just feel like a big loser. And so um, with each, I keep thinking, okay, maybe in the next fight I'll do better. Um, Battled through illness to pick up her second win. Glad that she stayed off that retirement. She is now on a win streak. But I think I still deserve to be in the LFC even if I've lost because I do fight with a lot of heart. I give 110%, so uh, I'll just keep going.